So we're actually just rolling because we're running low on petrol and we kept driving past petrol stations and there was actually no petrol in those stations. So we stay over here-ish just before the mountain pass and then we drove up all the way over here because we are going to go to the Great Meteor. We're back at the monastery and the reason why is because it wasn't open yesterday when we came here. So we wanted to go and have a look inside. And what is the court, huh? We are headed to the Great Meteora Monastery. Uh, it's apparently that's the nicest. Uh, it's three euros per person to enter each monastery. So we asked the guide reception which one was the must-see and he recommended this one. And I totally understand because there's like buses and cars for days at this monastery. So it's going to be tourist galore, but I hope we can get some good shots. Another bus coming in. We're on our way to the entrance. Hopefully there's not a long line. beautiful up close. I can't wait to go check what it looks like inside. Heads up, there's a dress attire, no crop tops, no vests and no shorts. Finally made it inside. Quite a lot of people, but we made it. Sorry guys, no photos and videos. It's unfortunate we couldn't take you guys inside, but oh my gosh. It is so cool. There's like this chalice thing. It kind of reminds me of like the cup of youth. And there's these like wooden crosses. But within the wooden cross, there's these like detailing of people's faces. And that are like this small, like throughout the entire cross. That's like this big. It is insane how cool the stuff is inside. You guys will just have to come and see it for yourself. Wow, what an amazing view. I'm just millennial, but this kitchen looks backbreaking. We are finished with walking around the monastery. It was much better than expected. Like I said multiple times, it is amazing! We couldn't show you guys the full experience, which I'm so sad about, but yeah, it's definitely on your list. Come to Meteora. The town is quaint and the monasteries are amazing. Uh, we're now on our way to check out because we have to check out by 12 o'clock and then straight after that we're going to head back to Thessaloniki. Our accommodation. Thank you. 
We are now going to go hike up this mountain to have lunch. So, you excited for our hike? Not really. What? This is called regret. What? Sun's beating me, dude. Is it beating you? <laughs> this one looks like a person's face. Look how cool that is. Can you see like... Yeah, he's winking. Yeah. His eyes, his nose and his mouth. Here goes Tams. Don't slip, Tams. Mm. Nearly broke her face. Nick's a champion. He can record, he can carry our lunch and still climb up the mountain. We're gonna have lunch in this human's face. Look at the monkey. From Spider-Man to monkey. We're hopefully gonna eat lunch in one of these crevices in the shade. We have found our lunch spot. We just finished lunch, it was amazing. The Giro's was just as good as yesterday. I will uh, put the put link the in link. the description. Yeah, they're really, really awesome and it wasn't too expensive. And uh, Unfortunately, we have to get on the road now. We could chill here the whole day. The view's amazing, the company's amazing. But now we have to go to Tesla Nick Tesla Lonki? Tesla Niki. Tesla Niki. Tesla Loniki. Tesla Loniki. <laughs> One of them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um so we're gonna hit the road and say goodbye. Making sure we're taking all our trash with us. And down we go. because we're running low on petrol and we kept driving past petrol stations and there was actually no petrol in those stations so hopefully we'll find something in this little Found town one. Found one! Petrol's a little expensive here but hey we need it We filled up 20 euros and we got 9.6 liters it's a lot for petrol and we say South Africa is expensive. Nick needs to pay for our petrol. How do you feel that we've just found some petrol? Uh, less stress, how stressing. Actually, I thought it wasn't going up the mountain, but the mountain was quite steep. So that's the reason why we didn't fill up. We tried a lot. It was just like on a main highway, so there must be petrol stations. But yeah, now I feel way less stressed. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to uh, neutral and wheel our way down, hey? Yep. We always cut it so close. It's quite a. Uh, it's quite a uh, of an adrenaline rush. <laughs> We've been here for a few hours but due to traffic we uh, stopped at one of the malls and we just chilled, connected to the Wi-Fi, got some work done and we now made it to our accommodation for the night and we're gonna call it a night and explore Thesno Nikki in the morning. Okay heads up the quality is gonna look very bad but I had to zoom in and there's clothes in the mountainside. Does someone live there? 